So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover another amazing lab that is VPC Network Controlling Access. So first of all, if you're new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. And if you face this kind of error, no need to worry, just refresh the browser and just restart the lab. Now here, you have to just open the Cloud Console Incognito window. Do not worry, I'll show you step-by-step -step guide how you can complete this lab. So just right click, open the Cloud Console Incognito window. Now here, it is getting signed in automatically. If it asks for username and password, check the lab for it. Now here, let's wait for the console to open. And here basically you have to just select I understand and agree and continue. Just click on I agree and then click on agree and continue. Now once it is done, you have to open the VM instance. How will open? You can just navigate through the menu or from the search box, just open the compute engine. Now in the compute engine, we have to select VM instance. So please follow the way I'm doing so that you get full score on this lab. Many of you are facing unnecessary issues, but there is no such kind of issues present over here. So from here, just click on the VM instance. Here, just click on the VM instance. Now from here, you can see the VM instance page is now ready. Now here basically we have to create two instances. One is blue and another is green. So just click on create instance and come to the lab instruction for the names and region. So here you can see here now come to the task number one and here you can see we have different region and zone. So you have to select according to the lab instruction always. Also if they update the name also like they may change the name to yellow etc. So always check the lab instruction. Now here. Once you have updated it, you have to copy the network tags and network tags where you have to paste in the networking section and then just click on create. Now you have to repeat the same for different server. So basically again click on create and here this will do for the green server or the server name which will be mentioned over here on the lab instruction. So here just copy the name carefully and come over here and paste it and for the region also update the region. Now once you have done this, come to the networking section and here in the networking section you have to do not add any tags as they have clearly mentioned it. Now here once both are ready, we will initiate SSH session. You can check the score for task number 1 and here many of you are facing issues on customizing the welcome page and installing this. So do not worry, I have tested this lab and it's currently working. There may, there may be some minor tweaks in this lab, so no need to worry, we'll complete it together. So now just activate your cloud shell, try to retry over here, and if you still get the error, no need to worry about it. Just activate your cloud shell, click on continue, and just authorize yourself. Once the cloud shell is ready, we will ensure the SSH station. So first of all, let me increase the font size, and here we have to just minimize it. And here you can see from the drop down menu. You can see here view on G Cloud command and run in Cloud Shell. Just write it and just hit enter. You have to basically hit enter, type Y and then hit enter twice again. What you have to do, you have to just type Y and hit enter again like this. Let me show you how you have to do. Hit enter again. Come to the lab instruction again and just install this. If you get any kind of uh, option to type Y and hit enter, this type Y and hit enter. Now we have to modify the file. For modifying the file, we have to change it to the blue server. Okay. Welcome to, to blue server. We have to change. So use the down arrow key to navigate and then right arrow key. Now come over here and stop. Now use the backspace button to clear the details. Okay, so just clear the details. Just paste over here. Cross verify the name. Do you think we are missing something? Yes, you heard it right. To the blue server it will be. So we missed that the, you have to just add over here. And if you do this kind of mistake, don't need to worry. Just come to the left arrow and just from here, wait a second again like this you have to add the space now to save control x y and then hit enter to save with it control x y and then hit enter now we have to initiate the green server 
so just use the plus icon to initiate another cloud shell session now green for green just again like this you have to open the g cloud and run it and then hit enter if you get any kind of pop-up then type uh, repeat the same step y and then hit enter and enter again and if the, it asks for acis etc zone type of thing you should cross verify the lab zone if it is same then type y if it is not then type no okay i hope it clears your doubt now come to the lab instruction and copy the install command like this now again run the second command oh sorry we, ha we have to modify the file again now this time it will be clear use the down arrow key to navigate and here we have to again add to the green server i think so so just come your mouse cursor sorry the this remove it using backspace and just copy it carefully the green server exclamation mark just control x y and hit enter sorry for any grammatical mistake now just check the score now here we have to create a firewall rule and here this task will be manual so let's complete the firewall rule and then we have to create a test vm so first of all check the score for all the task you can see we got the score for the third task now here we have to just create the firewall rule close the cloud function sorry cloud shell and on the search box type firewall just type firewall and click on it and open on a new tab we'll be creating a new firewall the name you need to just see the name and all the configuration over here we'll be using it only so once the page loads it taking some time so wait for it meanwhile in case you haven't liked the video yet like it and do subscribe the channel too so from here you can see create firewall rule is here so we have to just click on it first of all wait for the page to fully load and once it loads you have to remove unwanted pop-ups so that you can continue over here here just follow the way i'm doing and you will definitely get the score without any issue and create firewall rule the page will open here for the name come over here and copy the name carefully paste over here and here basically we don't have to change the network we have to just update the values that is first with the target tags then ip ranges so for target tags paste over here ipv4 ranges paste over here and at the bottom first of all enable the tcp and type 80 and the next step is that we have to enable other ports that is icmp so here just type icmp and then click on create okay now the next step is that we have to create a vm instance so you can use the manual method also or you can use the cli they have mentioned the cli so we'll be using that only and then we'll be done with the lab that is very easy task so just copy it from here and just activate your cloud shell first of all and run accordingly here it's working now for the command just paste over here it will create a test vm with e2 machine type in our zone that is as per the lab instruction so in my case it's us west 1a it might be different for you us central AC south and many more things so do check the lab for it always now once it is created we'll move forward to the lab instruction and check the score now here it does not end over here we have to create a service account also so for that you have to go to the iam section you can see here create a network admin service account so how will create no need to worry about it first of all come over here and from the navigation menu just go to the first of all minimize it iam and then just click on the service account now from here we have to click on create new service account and the name will be as per the lab instruction that is network admin now copy it carefully and just click on continue and for the im permission it is computer compute network admin so copy it carefully and then we have to just download the json file to our local system so just first of all enhance the role that is computer network admin sorry compute network admin so just copy it carefully paste over here and then just select it like this all things are done click on continue and just click on done 
you can close the cloud shell if you want because we are not needing it anymore now now the service account has been successfully created just click on manage keys and then click on add keys wait a second it will show click on add key and create new key and then json then click on create now it will just open your local system you can just click on ok or just leave it as it is like you can download it or click on cancel now that's how we completed this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel if you need any other help comment down below thank you have a great day